Hi. Okay. So I read a book. This has a nice day now. Here it is. Okay. So my book, which we're not going to get a full one of so it'll be the part of the name of the title. So I'm doing it in the brothers. It is basically I don't really want to say a modern fairy tale, because it's not really a fairy tale. They don't know Mary Princesses, or let's say that. Yes, they are fairy queens. I think of Elvish queens, but whatever. But, um, but I don't know how else to describe the book. In this case, so I mean, it's insane. So, for all sake and purposes, it is now a modern fairy tale. Where to get my ideas from? My ideas for is this. You tear the hair of the head and cut my main um, ideas for this novel came from Celtic lore. Celtic lore is awesome. Where the heck is my Celtic book? I was currently in this place for Celtic book. But I have to I did buy a Celtic um very tough book. Tons of amazing information on the Celtic lore and how you know they can stand news in an amazing good book. I don't believe that all of it, but I read a lot of it. Enough to get my but it needed at the time. <laughs> As I uh, ideas for my former characters from Red Man, Dark Man, the Grey Man, and the Hunger Man. You can uh, check these out. Okay, my characters. I'll give you uh, the reader. I'll give you the reader. John, Abe, Arian, them. That's the short version of the names. Some of them you might be able to figure out, some of them you won't. Um, just for Dawn, because Dawn's been really popular right now. Hopefully, with my characters, I hope they develop them good. For you, I'll use a point. I'll use for you as an example. And in the beginning of, in the first book, he's very assertive, he's about to be in charge. I was kind of losing that in the second book. Kind of it becomes more not as assertive than me. Now he's barely losing on that. The reason is, I'm not telling you what the reason is. I would love to, I would love to go on like our imaginable book on YouTube, but I can't. He said, well, I don't want to save my book, that's why. The characters in my book have love interests. Actually, one of them has two. At two different times. I mean, you're not, you're not like you're in Twilight. And, so, trust me, there was two totally different time periods that this guy had his love interests. And then about my characters, I would like to hope the reader would see is that they had a relationship with that love interest before they became their love interest. Like Dawn and this other girl, V, we'll call her. Um, they know each other for five years, even before they even entertained the idea of, you know, having a relationship. Like, you know, V, she not know she thought he he died too and then he was good looking to and she was he was my friend that talked to him and told her secrets and of his spirit and stuff like that. The wind of the plot it just kind of hit me. It was like this is what's gonna happen. This is where it's gonna go. This is and actually I can honestly say that when authors say that characters 
do whatever the heck they want to do. Let's go. But sound after sitting the stone. Okay, I don't know who we're talking about. Like one of the characters, Abe, I have every intention of killing. He was going to die in the first outline of Bill's event. He was killed. He was done. What? I decided no. He will not die. The other characters will die. One dies in a way that. So it's still the question of none of them die if you thought that. Which brings me to the point is that as I'm writing, I'm thinking about what's happening earlier, later on in the book, such as this character's death. And I want to get to it so bad, I want to write it, so I want to tie it up so bad, this is going to be all bloody and gory and. I want to get there. But I can't. It sucks. Another thing is, is that. I just lost my train of thought. So what to go for? Oh, yes. As I'm writing, and I... And it's kind of, it's kind of weird. And I stop writing. And then I'm going to stop this chapter. It says stop the chapter. In a chapter, and then go back to this chapter. But I kind of feel like they're stuck in that one spot, and they can't move. Like they're real mm -hmm. and they're really special to me, but if you ever don't even write what I do next. It's like, you have to pretend. You should stand in the middle of the pen with me. I know it's a really good pen to see me, but it's true. That's kind of how I feel. I was black. You did it all the time. All the time. Now it's black, it's like the worst nightmare. A nightmare that I frequently have. Especially when I'm seeing one. Like, I still have to go to the right. Then I just kind of get up and go read in a book or something. Okay, my editing process. I have a really crappy editing process, but considering that I love to write really great books. That's just the grammar. Now will be the first ten minutes that I suck at grammar. First ten minutes. But, <laughs> I have actually printed out my first book. And I am taking it, and I am going to edit it myself, and then I'm going to put my collections, my collections on the computer, and then I'm going to email it to my grandmother. It's actually really, 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 really good grandmother. And then maybe to our publisher. Alright, so that is my book. A little bit about it, and so it's my process of writing and stuff like that. So I want you guys to, you know, tell me how you feel about it, and, you know, would you give a chance? Stuff like that. Would you?